Private college. Not a university. Private college. That shit's expensive. But you know what they do, apparently? What? If you, if you make it into Duke, it's a, I think it's a binding contract. Which means, like, if you make it in there, you have to go. I think but, that only applies to football players. No. Or not I've football, um, basketball players. Mm -mm. No, I've looked at it. There's colleges that have tried to fucking get me to, like, um, sign... To, or not sign, but like submit college applications to them, and they're like, "Here you go, man. You don't have to pay an essay fee. You don't have to. You write. You don't. You don't have to pay an essay. Fee. You don't have to pay a fucking application fee. You don't have to write an essay. You don't have to do anything. You just like put all the shit on there, and then you read it, and it says the contract is binding, which means like if you send that application and they accept you to the school, you have to go to that school. Like you can't go to a different school for that year. Fucking sucks." It does, and Duke is binding, and so is, I think, like, there's another school that's, it's like Wake Forest or something, or oh, Lewisburg Wake College. Would be. But, like, uh, what it is, is like, like, Wake is like 50000 a year or something, and they don't even help you pay for that shit, which is ridiculous, because if it's binding and you have to go there, that means you have to pay 50000 and that means you're fucked. Duke, however, um, the FAFSA, which is pretty much like a, how broke are you survey, is like how broke are your parents survey oh yeah how broke are your parents it's pretty much tells you like how much um, like your parents are expected to pay to help you out or to get you through college it's called like an EFC or whatever it's pretty much like a set number where that's how much your parents should pay each semester or year to get you through college and then the rest they'll pay for or whatever or like your school should pay for you got the government and the school so like my EFC is zero because my parents are broke as fuck. However, my friend's EFC is like eight thousand or so. So he has to get that through like scholarships or loans. But um, like Duke, they will pay everything that your e that like like their school is like forty thousand a year or something. And if you go there, then they'll pay everything mi minus your EFC. So like if you have to pay five thousand on the EFC, they'll pay the thirty-five thousand for you, and you just have to pay the five thousand uh, sem a semester or a year or whatever it is, which is ridiculous. Like you don't even have to get a scholarship or anything. Like most schools, you have to get like a half ride, full ride, or whatever to pay for most of it. But Duke, it's just like if you get in, then they pay for that, which is crazy. One of my friends was thinking about doing that, but the freaking East Carolina University is annoying as hell because a lot of idiots go there to like party or whatever. Because apparently it's a party college. I can see that. But um, like, there's an honors college in there, which not many people can go into, and they pay it pays you a lot of money. Uh, like, it's funny that go there. All these basketball schools are just the same fucking deal. I don't know if I'd rather go to a football school or a basketball school. Like, the UD's the exact same way. University of Dayton. What, well, like, bunch it's a party of, college? Yeah, a bunch of rich-ass like Catholic kids driving Beamers. Well, not rich. Their parents are rich. And, uh... Yeah, all they do is smoke weed. Which is fine, because everyone knows that you just smoke weed every day. Um, yeah, that's pretty much exactly what East Carolina is. But yeah, Except it's like all these hoity toity basketball schools. Fuck them. But the honors colleges, they were actual, like, where you want to go if you wanted to go there. And, like, it was really annoying for me because my parents are broke, so I couldn't pay the application fee. And, like, the deadline for to apply to the college to be, uh, what's it called? To be, like, even looked at or whatever to get into the honors college was like the 15th of like November or something I applied like the 15th of October but apparently my application didn't go through or whatever because the fee waiver didn't work that I tried to get from my school so like it ended up me applying at like on like December 15th so I didn't make it to the honors college or I couldn't because I didn't meet the deadline so now I'm just and I've already got accepted because it'd be stupid if they denied me but I, I'm just like getting all these emails and I'm just like these emails are specifically like made for all these fucking 
idiots. I wouldn't call them idiots, but most of them are. Like, they just go here because their parents are paying for college and they're like, let me go have fun and not get an education at all. Apparently got a kill there. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, what's, are you thinking of going to like a state or a private or what? It doesn't matter as long as you pay for it and it's a good college. Because I wouldn't rule out any particular type of college simply because it seems expensive as shit. Because I went to a small you know, private Lutheran school. It wasn't really, it was actually pretty pretty upbeat. It's not really Lutheran at all, it just, it's Lutheran. But, um, they handed out a shit ton of money to people uh, in grants and scholarships because they realized that forty thousand dollars a year is a lot to ask for. So a lot, That's like at least fifty percent of the student body there was probably getting half or three fourths ride per year. That's pretty much what I'm looking at. Like, um, hey, you had to something like OSU, I've which is sixteen thousand a year. You might get lucky to get three or four. So if like, you're gonna uh, go to OSU, it's gonna be easier to get like if you. It's gonna be easier to get small grants and scholarships and awards to stack up and pay for more of your schooling. But yeah, it just depends. Yeah, the, pretty much the the schools I'm looking at is like one's called Campbell University, which is pretty much like exactly like the one that you're talking about. It's like thirty-eight thousand. Per year, and I've already gotten like a sixteen thousand dollar scholarship. Yeah, that's pretty chunky. For it. But it doesn't well, they pay can push for it. a little bit more. And then, and then I need to, and then the yeah. government. Yeah, the government gives me like, I think it's like five thousand a semester. Not so altogether, I think I'm getting like a hundred and something thousand uh, with the scholarship and FAFSA. But it's still like fucking thirty eight thousand a, a a year. So I'm gonna be paying. I guess I won't be that much in debt. But the FAFSA, the thing about the FAFSA though, is that I'm getting five thousand a semester, no matter where I go. So it doesn't matter if I go to Campbell. It doesn't matter if I go to some fucking public university that's only sixteen thousand a year. I'm still getting five thousand a semester. So if I go to that, if I go to like East Carolina, I can possibly have my entire college paid for already. And if I go to Campbell. It's a better college, but I'm gonna have to pay a lot more. If I go to Chapel Hill, it's a public university, which means the tuition's gonna be low already. So it's pretty much like a best of both, because I don't have to pay that much if I do have to pay any, and it's a ridiculously good education. It's pretty much like a medical school. Top major is biology, which is I'm either gonna go biology or chemistry. Go to med school for either pharmacy or orthopedics or. Uh, or some type of, some type of surgeon. I want to be a heart surgeon. You should become an orthodontist. I was thinking that. That way you can fix your own teeth. Just do it when you're 40. I'm actually, like, when I look at a, at a lot of, job. Uh, no, like, when I look at a, like, I was, like, the orthodontist, the doctor that was, like, uh, doing my crap today, like, his teeth didn't look that great either. Because he's probably, which confused me, old as hell. Probably like 50, dude. Uh, uh, up to a certain point, you just can't do shit, or it's not even worth it to go back into it. Like if if one of your teeth, is, if your teeth are just slightly off, then yeah. I mean, I get it, but it's just like a, it's ironic to me. Seeing a dentist with like jacked up teeth. Or an orthodontist. No, oh, dentist with jacked up teeth. No, he's dentist. The dentist that I was at had pretty good teeth. But seeing an orthodontist with jacked up teeth, I don't know how the fuck that that works. Very careful. But anyway, I'm gonna go eat, and I'll be right back. And you should get Terraria, because you actually sure. have money. Oh. Terraria. What is it? Like two dollars on Steam? Uh, no, it's probably like ten right now. So oh, whoa! It. That must be a great game if it's ten. Yes, yeah, so no, all the games it. on Steam are ten are, are great. If they're ten dollars. I was gonna say get it, but yeah, just wait till it's two fifty if you're gonna get it. Wait until it's what? 
until it's like 75% off because they do that shit a lot. What's the next thing coming up? Spring? No. When's what's yeah, the next Steam, like, spring, the whatever. Next? Fuck. Well, it's gonna be two. The big one now. after that is summer or whatever they call it, but yeah. Yep, summer. summer. The spring one is gonna be it's 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 literally it's two dollars and twenty five cent or two dollars and fifty. I think they have it off a little bit more. Usually I pay it's more that. for lunch than I do for games. I feel you. Seriously, I, yeah, the amount of, the amount of money I spent. On I don't lunch. think I've bought I don't think I've bought one game on my uh, in my library. Oh no, there's only one game that I've ever bought on PC, and that is.